Hey guys, so this is welcome to the Four Weeks of Christmas episode three, season two. Um, basically it is like one in the morning right now, pretty much. And I realized I forgot to film the intro and outro, so I'm filming this right here, right now. So yeah. So today's episode is tier list on all the classic Christmas movies. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, leave in the comments what you would write, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, so welcome to the tier list. It's blue because my TV is on. So, oh yeah, I also forget to keep saying this, guys, but yeah, also happy Hanukkah. Okay, so the tier we got is, on the top tier, we got better than the holiday, so that means it's better than Christmas itself. Have to watch it every Christmas, underrated, overrated, or never watched. Okay, so the first movie we got is Christmas with the Cranks. So I kind of have a tradition where I do watch this every, uh, every, I, I wear, the, I watch this every Christmas. It's kind of a tradition, so I, I have to put, watch it every Christmas. I don't technically watch it every Christmas. It's like, a, like a couple weeks before Christmas I watch it, but yeah. Okay, the next one is Mickey's, oh, uh, I think I've watched that. It's a, I'm not gonna lie, guys, it, it's, it's overrated, like, there are some good movies like that, but it's just, like, it's a tad bit overrated. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. So, yeah, it's just it's overrated. Santa Claus. Okay, so Santa Claus number one. I'm gonna have to give that an overrated as well. Like, it's, it's, I like the second and third one a lot more than this one, personally. Uh, but, yeah, I just think that this one's a lot better. I don't, again, I don't know what to say for this. Uh, the Christmas Carol. This is creepy as hell. Look, 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 okay, look at my mouth when I say hell. Hell. Okay, so it's creepy as hell. Uh, when I when I say it's creepy as hell, you know I mean creepy as hell, boys. Okay, I was just checking if there's like any classics on here. Um, so the Christmas Carol. I'm gonna have to give a. I'm gonna give it a good fashion underrated i like this movie i've watched it once or twice it's very like good for a movie but as a christmas movie uh but yeah it's definitely underrated okay i've actually never watched this movie i think it's like a popular i don't know i think i've seen it a couple times so maybe that what's this one yeah i've never watched it okay charlie brown that is overrated i'm just i'm sorry it's just it's just really overrated for me Bad Santa, I've never watched. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Okay, Elf! Oh, people might hate me when I say this. Elf is overrated. Oh my gosh. Why? Why do I think Elf? I think it's just like the go to like live action Christmas movie. And like, it's a good movie. I'll give it that. But it's a good movie, but it's just a tad bit overrated, which it's just like, uh, I don't know. I just don't like overrated movies that much. Okay. For Christmas, I think I've watched that once, but I cannot remember if I have, so we're gonna give that a... Sorry. So we're gonna give that a, uh, a never watched. Frosty the Snowman. Bro, this is underrated. I see so much people, so much people. Who say that Frosty the Snowman is the worst classic one, which I just do not agree with whatsoever. Frosty the Snowman is probably in my top three classic movies. It is so, so, so underrated. Okay, and then the original Christmas, Christmas, uh, original Christmas. You gotta give it a watch every, have to watch every Christmas, right? I think it's just one of those movies where you just you, you gotta watch it every Christmas, okay? Like. Just no explaining it. No explaining. Okay, then it's the live action one with Tim, uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. A lot of people say it's bad, uh, but I'm not, I'll actually give it a underrated. Yeah, it's very underrated. It's a it's a decent. It's like corny, but like in a sense, all Christmas movies are corny. So yeah, never watched. Uh, oh, there's a lot I never watched in here. I just realized. never watched. Uh, okay, so this one. Uh, what's it called? Sorry? It's called, I think this is Love Actually, which I'm gonna give it overrated. My parents watch it as well, so I'm giving it overrated. Just, I'm not gonna explain myself. <laughs> never watched. Uh, never. Come on, you stupid child.
Hey, Home Alone 2, I'm gonna give a underrated. Obviously, it's not as good as the original Home Alone, but at the same time, it is not, like... <gasps> so, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a underrated on that one. Okay, Eight Crazy Nights, guys. It's the first. I'm gonna give it a better than the holidays. Better than the holidays. So why I'm giving it a better than the holiday is it's very between for me for have to watch every Christmas and better than the holiday. Uh, better than the holiday. Uh, but I, I do watch this every Christmas, so like that's why I want to say that. But at the same time, this is like a really good movie. Probably one of my favorite Adam Sandler movies. So I got it. I gotta give it that. Okay, Home Alone. I gotta give. I think I give this an underrated, right? Yeah. Okay. Home Alone, I gotta give it overrated. Now, I think Home Alone 1 is better than Home Alone 2. But, underrated, it's overrated, way too overrated. Probably, it's so corny, it's so, it's, the plot is just not good. I'm sorry, I just... I forgot what this is called, but it's one at the train station and the kid who has the bell. I watched this, like, at school once, and it, I found it very creepy. <laughs> So, Christmas, I find a lot of Christmas movie creepies. I'm gonna give that a good old fashioned. I think there should be one between overrated and never watched. So, I'm gonna just create one real quick. Never watched and overrated. So, this one will just be called. Uh, I should call it something. I should. I'm calling it, this makes me hate Christmas. Even though it doesn't. This makes me hate Christmas. Okay, so... Uh... Okay, so Daddy's Home 2. I'm gonna have to give that a good ol... I have to watch this every Christmas. I don't watch this every Christmas. I watch it, like, probably October to November, somewhere in between there. But yeah, it's a very good movie. Very solid. Very, very solid. I think it is very good for a, um, it's very good. I really like Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. The only part that me doesn't want to give it this is it just doesn't really feel like a Christmas movie. Like, sure, it counts because it's based around Christmas, but it just, that's not the plot. The plot isn't, um, hey, it's a Christmas, like, it's a Christmas movie, sure, but it's not, like, it's not like Christmas with the cracks. Christmas. Okay, uh, this one I'm gonna have to give a overrated. Um, again, a lot of these are overrated. <laughs> Wait, did I delete? Oh no, I thought I deleted the overrated list. I was like, oh no. Okay, Chris, the, I forgot what this, what the hell is this called? Christmas Chronicles. I gotta give this. I got to give this. I have to watch every Christmas. This is like between have to watch every Christmas and better than the holiday because honestly, this movie is amazing. This movie is just, like, probably my all-time, one of my probably all-time favorites. Uh, this is following a bunch of people. The, 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 I'm sorry. The sequel is, is, it's just, it's so, it's so bad. It's just, ah, that's like, it's an ah feeling. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I gotta give it a, have to watch every Christmas. Okay, so, oh, no, keep recording. <laughs> Uh, all I want for Christmas. Oh, no, it's with the all I want. For what is it? What's this one called? All I want for Christmas. It is called. I think this is. I forgot what this is called, and I'll put it on the screen right now. But I'm gonna have to give this a underrated, uh, because I mean it's not like my favorite, but it's not terrible, so I'll give it a good old fashioned underrated. The Nightmare Before Christmas, I watched, like, once, and I'm gonna have to say overrated. Uh, what's overrated at? I gotta give it a overrated. <laughs> Jack Frost, I watched, I used to watch this around every Christmas. Uh, when I got older, I just stopped watching it, but yeah, this movie, hmm. <laughs> it's so cringy, so bad, but it's, it's a classic, so it's making, it's so bad, it's so bad that I want to put it at the top tier. But, I'm gonna have to give that an underrated, I guess. Just because I used to watch it. 
Oh, the recent um, Grinch. I actually never watched this before. I know it's like kind of a surprise, but like. Oh, okay. For a second there, I was like, what the fuck? Um, so I never watched it, which is a surprise because, but I actually just never got around to watching it. I'll probably watch, you know what? I'll watch it. I'll watch it on Christmas break sometime. Uh, ooh, Santa Claus 2. Santa Claus, wait, is this Santa Claus? Yeah, it's, no, it's Santa Claus 3. That's the one with Jack Frost in them. Okay, Santa Claus 3. I'm going to have to give a good old-fashioned... I don't think you guys are ready. I'm giving it Jeff... It's probably my favorite, so I'm going to put this in underrated. Um. So, yeah, that's my list. Okay, so let me go through one by one. Okay, so in Better Than the Holidays, we only got one, which was uh, the Eight Crazy Nights, which was the Hanukkah slash Christmas movie. Very good, very good. Very culturally appropriate, I would say. It's funny, Adam Sandler, but it does feel like Christmas. Better than the holiday. Have to watch this every Christmas. I put in The Christmas Carol, Christmas with the Cranks, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and Home... I just realized, they didn't put... They didn't put Rudolph on here. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, Rudolph. It's an L for you. Um, So, why I put Christmas with the Chronicles? It's so good. I really wanted to put it in... Better than the holiday, but the problem was, um, the second one just was such a letdown that I have to put it here. Second one, the story, the plot was bad. The acting was bad. Everything about it was trash. I'm sorry. Uh, Christmas, How to Grinch Stole Christmas, the original, it just feels like an original one, you know? It just feels like something you watch every Christmas. And then, um, Daddy's Home 2, it's because it's just, again, classic. Okay, so in Underrated, we got... The Christmas Carol, uh, Santa Claus 2, Frosty the Snowman, Alone, Home Alone 2, The Grinch, uh, live action, and all of them. Okay, so, Christmas Carol, classic. Uh, Santa Claus 2, it's pretty good. Uh, Frosty the Snowman, classic. Home Alone 2 is very, it's, it's good for Home Alone, but it's meh. Uh, live action, it's not as bad people say it is, Jumbo. Uh, Jack Frost, classic for me. It's like a classic for my family. Okay, never watched, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> This makes me hate Christmas, uh, only one surprisingly, which was on the one where they're with the train. It's just, it's just so bad. Okay, overrated. It has Mickey, uh, Charlie Brown, Santa Claus, Elf, uh, Love Actually, uh, Mickey's Thingy, uh, Home Alone, and The Night Before Christmas. So, yeah, that was the Christmas list. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching the Pulling Through Christmas, uh, tier list video so i just want to tell you the last four weeks of christmas video actually isn't coming out next week it is coming out on christmas day so stay tuned for that and yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you well if i don't see you soon see you on christmas so yeah see you guys bye